M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Ham Pi, lots of free software that you can put onto your Raspberry Pi. I've got some screenshots here at the right with lots of people making videos on this. I'm new to this. I downloaded it because I wanted to use Ham Clock, which is part of Ham Pi, along with about 50 other programs like Blue DV, Chirp, FL Digit. Oh, it's just the list is too long to, to, to say all of the programs that are included in this. And it's such a good thing. So, uh, just watch me install it and it, this is just me just quickly doing it before I close down. We'll do some better videos tomorrow. Have a look. So that eventually we put the SD card into my Raspberry Pi 3B, connect the HDMI connector, uh, a mouse and a keyboard and away we go. Yeah, some information there. Let's go to the Raspberry Pi and see what we've got here. Programming. We're just going to go from the top. Fluid. GUI Designer. Genie, is it Genie Programs Editor, Monodoc, MU, Node Red, Q5 Assistant, Scratch. Okay, then you've got Education, Smart Sim, Office, Internet, Sound and Video, VLC Media Player, Graphics, Games, got a few games there, other tools, accessories, and now Ham Radio. That's that's the one we're interested in. So, wow, where to start? Let's do the TW clock, see what that is. That's a TW clock, let's do something else. So, start, antenna analyzer, if you just click that. Some information there. Back to ham radio, FL Digi. Just gonna fire up loads of stuff here. So this is really me learning, by the way, and you're just watching uh, ham radio. Should we do one of these? Oh, what's this one here? FL FL rig. We're connecting to rigs. Many of these programs I've never used. Weak signal, grid tracker. I've heard of that. I've used that on my computer, on my PC. Just clicking out of a few things here. There's grid tracker firing up, and of course we can connect our PC to that once we know how to. Keep going. Software defined. Oh, cubic SDR. So we get this is this is actually an SDR. We'll have to learn how to run that as well. Need to shut some of these down, don't I? Because it's just gonna. I need a, a proper power supply to run all this. But it's loading, as you can see, loading all the modules for SDR. And I'll learn about how to do that. Do we plug in our our dongle, I've got a RTL SDR. Keep going, All right. what else we got here? Training, is that CW? PSK, look. Morse code CW there, logging. So we have a logger. DRATS. Not really sure what DRATS is. I've heard of DRATS, not really sure what it is. I'll click it. There's a, a Windows Explorer there as well. I'm just clicking everything at the moment. Automatic packet reporting system. Antenna analyzer going down. Ham clock. Let's have a look at the ham clock, that, which is what got... This is what actually got me interested in the first place. I was looking at ham clock and someone messaged me and said, isn't that part of ham pie? And I thought, well, what's ham pie? So let's have a look at this ham clock. W, well, that looks like a similar call sign to what I would, to the ham clock I was looking at actually. All right, let's let that load up and have a look. And there is a ham clock that you can uh, you can purchase as well. 
ready for countdown. Let's see what we get. A new version available. Do I click yes? Right, let it download. So apologies that this is just being filmed on my phone, but you know we can uh, we can come back and look at more anyway. Well, I'm so pleased with this because this is the reason I am looking at ham ham pie because someone said it's included in this and it actually is. So thank you very much to WB0OEW for this addition to ham pie, which is just on my monitor here at the moment. You've got the time, the date, the second lifetime, sunspot, C9.7. There's the sun with some figures here. MC, is it? Is it? Oh, I can't read that, it's too small. <laughs> so, okay, brilliant, thank you. Let's, I don't want to, let's just minimize that. How do you minimize? I, I never use um, my Raspberry Pi, although I have many Raspberry Pis, I never actually use them. I love that. That, that. Look at it. That just looks fantastic. That alone is worth having. And if I can have that on VNC Viewer, I'll be able to view that on my PC. Look, you've got the, looks like a, li a live, yeah, live map there as I'm scrolling across. Can I click anything? I'm just clicking it. It's night. Obviously, we can see that it's nighttime in this part of the world. Wow, DX. That's just very cool. That's all I can say. And click OK to that. Right, next one. Let's just keep looking. I'll end the video and then we'll we'll um we'll do some better videos on this eventually. So we'll go Raspbian. Remember you put the image on and this is all there. I, I haven't done anything else. What's free DV? Free DV. Now is that sending HF over sorry sending DV over HF? I think that's what I've heard of in the past. Digital over, over HF. Just going to look at Blue DV. Yeah, well, I do use Blue DV all the time. Right, we'll look down there. That's one of my Blue DV hotspots. Now, I, I've got a DV stick as well, I suppose. I could plug that in. I'm going to plug that into the spare USB drive on this Pi. You see it come to life. Let's see if it detects it. So, I don't know how to do COM ports using this system, but let's just see what happens. So it's plugged in. Maybe we'll close, what's that up there? The lightning, what does the lightning thing mean? We've got a volume control. Blue DV that we're on for Linux. If I just turn it on, will it find it? Where did that go? Completely lost that. Let's shut down some of these things. Let's quick de-wraps. What happened to blue DV? It vanished. Do it again. We've got our, uh, an explorer there as well. Let's go back to blue DV. Can you see my managed Bluetooth devices? That was going green. What do you think that's to do with it? Download D Star Host, we know about that. Setup. Okay. Call sign. M0FXB port. Ah, it just says USB, which is what it is, isn't it? Let's put a frequency that I use. I use that one for fusion, actually. Uh, password, do we need that now? Does it only do D DMR? I've got D star here. There's fusion. Enable at startup. Call sign. We want RXTX colors. 438. Is that going to be the wrong frequency? Dot 575. Is that enough zeros? Let's just click save what it says. I bet it's going to say not enough zeros. 
Yeah, nine characters long. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three zeros. Save. Blue DV. Try again. Anyway, we'll move on. I just thought we'd quickly try it because I, I had a, a blue DV hotspot here. You can see it is flashing away. I turn on the serial, it just vanishes, but it might be vanishing because the, there's a low power. We've got a, an hourglass symbol there. Let's give it a chance to boot. Okay, I put in my DV stick and it is stay, staying on screen now. So I'm just going to click Fusion. No, no joy. No, I'm just, I am trying. Anyway, we need to um, learn more about that, but let's keep looking at what else is available. So we've obviously got Blue DV, once we know how to configure. Like you say. And then we'll end the video and we'll do a load more tomorrow. So start. Ham, I noticed that we've got Chirp. If you wish to disable, you may. Hmm. That might need updating. Ah, all of a sudden, chirps come up. Let that load. Oh, it's actually down, gone straight to the download page. So I'm, I'm guessing there's a download version for consent. Okay. Or is it Linux? Actually, no, look at it, it's already, uh, it's already there. Look, download from radio, choose your radio, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, excellent. Uh, what else? Start. XDX, what's that at the bottom? Never heard of that. All these videos that I've made and all these things I've never even heard of, QTEL. QTAL settings. What's that? Ah, da, 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 da. Ham clock we did. G rig. I'll shut some of these down. Cool. It's showing a radio screen. One, two. So, how does that work? Radio. Settings, view. How does that work? G rig, dummy. Start. Chirp, training. TW ham, that says down there. TW ham QTH. And I got a feeling this is an older version. I got a feeling there's a bet there's a, a newer version of this as well. I did download a different version. La 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 la. So someone send me a link for the new version. Image viewer preferences. And this is a Raspberry Pi 3B. Let's just quickly go on the internet and just see what it's, what the browser's like. I'll close down some of these. Can we download YouTube? I don't even know how I don't even know how to download stuff. There's a file section here. Load more things as well. Look at that. Downloads, documents, desktop, pictures. All the different things there. Web store. Let's put in YouTube. Y O U T U B E. There's no speaker plugged into this. I don't think there is. We'll try it. There's YouTube. And let's put in that really annoying ham radio YouTuber. Keeps making YouTube videos. And um, everyone gets notifications every 10 minutes. Right, so M0FXB, enter. 
search. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll, we'll show off this, this software again. Thanks loads and loads to the developer. Just accept everything here. Now I have, I have actually got a Raspberry Pi 5. And I was gonna put this on a Raspberry Pi 5. There it is there. That's a Raspberry Pi 5. I've not seen many of these. But I couldn't find my uh, HDMI lead, which I'm 99% sure I've got two of them somewhere. Um, so we'll just do this, and then we'll, uh, the f then we'll finish the video. Right, well it is loading. And then it's be interesting to see how much faster my Pi 5 is. And this is, because this monitor does have audio. Well, I'm very, very impressed with that. I know it's been around a few years. I'm a bit behind on stuff, but very impressed. Thanks loads for watching my YouTube channel, and thanks to everyone involved in all of these developments. 7.3, all the best. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Ham Clock by WB0OEW. Wow, look at this, fantastic. I've just loaded up Ham Pi. This is just one of the sort of 50 programs that are on here for free. You can see there in a list. There's the Raspberry Pi 3B with an SD card image going out with a HDMI out at the moment connected to my keyboard and mouse. And look, and look at all this software, it's just fantastic. And so thanks very much to the station that messaged me about this and said, because I was looking at the ham clock uh, device, which is what this is, because you can buy these in a module. And look, you've got this live map here time, date, sunspot, all there, lots of information. I probably can do more with this if I learn. Got some, I'm just clicking a few things here. Look at that as I click. Is that a satellite? I don't know. I'm just clicking everything here. But wow, thank you very much to everyone involved. Every, I'm clicking and all this stuff and it's all free. Thanks so much, M0FXP. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Blue DV chirp, and then let's find the ham pie logo. There's your ham pie logo by W3DJS. Thank you, excellent. 7 3, all the best.